Okay, so if you want to be a beta tester, or if you are, then you will have received this update. Now, this is beta 3.3. Be bold with typed text. <laughs> so a lot of it obviously is to support the uh, folio. Um, and there is what's new. So let's go through. With the launch of Type Folio, a slim focused keyboard for the Remarkable 2, we'll be updating our software to support handwriting and typing, giving you the best note taking experience, however you like to work. So bold and italic formatting, you can now format type text with bold or italics. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Option to reset view when zooming in, that's awesome because on a PDF you can do this, but on a quick sheet or a native notebook, you can't. We added, we couldn't, we added a zoom indicator and a button to take you back to the default view instantly. I'm looking forward to that one. Other improvements, scrolling long continuous pages is smoother as your notes will render faster. So let us get started. Normally it just takes you straight into your, um, your space. So we want to create a notebook. So this is a native notebook and we're gonna we're gonna just use notebook six and we're just gonna go with the defaults. We're gonna tap create when that eventually wor works. And then we we tapped out accidentally. So if we had just say we had some squares here, because we want to do the zoom. I want to see if the zoom works. <laughs> and then we type hello, how are you? How are you? And then what you see, right, um, someone, a viewer was asking what the long dotted lines are, but as you can see, now there's a very faint grid. And can you see this up here? 0 0.4 times. Now, apparently there's a zoom indicator, that must be that, and a button to take you back to the default view. Let me just check. It's not in there. Is that the button? Let's just see if that's the button. Yes, that's the button. That's pretty cool because I like to write just on a page. I don't really like to do the continuous zoom, but everybody's different. And it was so hard. I was even using it earlier today and I couldn't get it to reset. I tried everything, um, but now this is so cool. So zooming. like that. You can see here it is up the top here, 3.3 times. So obviously that's what we click. I think it's that little arrow. Yep. And it's back to one to one. That is, that is pretty cool. I love it. Awesome. Okay. So that is the first function. Let us, uh, what's it doing? Let us have a look at typing text. So let's just add a page this way. You know, there's three ways you can add a page. Um, so let us type some text here. The, the, oh, I'm going to leave the spelling errors. The quick, <laughs> I'm not doing too well, am I? The quick brown fox jumped over the, <laughs> oh no. Wow, what a mess. Let me just go down. Let me try that again. The quick brown fox jumped, numped over the fence. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a perfectionist, which really I am. And there's the full stop down here. I don't use the keyboard much, as you can probably tell. But the update has bold and italic formatting. So let's double click. Yes. Oh, there it is. Look, bold. Did that bold and let's go numped. Whoops. Yep, italic. Obviously, if I use my pencil, it thinks I want to write. So don't do that, Martine. I'm going to close that and you can see that's italicized and that's bold. Um, to emphasize key sections or words. So that's that's the second update. And the other improvement is scrolling long continuous pages is smoother and your notes render faster. 
So, is there any way we can do this? Um, I wonder if we can copy. No, not really. Um, let's close that. Let's do this. This is like, and then let's go down the page. Come on. Oh, let's see those dotted lines, and then now they're disappearing. They used to stay before. So this is a long page. And now it says the scrolling long continuous pages is smoother and your notes will render faster. Yeah, that was pretty that was pretty quick. Um it's just scroll. Uh, yeah, I mean it doesn't have a lot of text to process because I, I didn't have anything prepared beforehand to show you, but um so you can test that out for yourself. But basically it's saying when you have got a super long page. It's going to process the text faster and it's going to adjust the view quicker, like update everything. And that's all to do with the, you know, the coding and the processor that's in it. So that's pretty cool for, uh, let me just, what was it? Beta 3.3. So that is beta 3.3. Um, I'm a beta tester, beta tester. You can be too if you want. It's not hard. Let me just quickly show you how to do that. You go in here, menu, you go to settings. You go to, is it help? Or is it version? Yeah. Yeah. So you go to menu, settings, uh, in general. You go to software version and then here under advanced, you turn that on. I don't know why it's off. You must have to turn it. Oh, there you can see. See how I'm already enrolled? Remarkable beta program. This device is enrolled in the program. Thanks for helping us improve our software experience. Um, I have mine automatically on, but it notifies you down in the bottom right hand corner that an update has been installed, but you still have to say yes to, um, it, an update has been downloaded, you still have to say yes to installing it. Let's get those words right. So this means automatic updates, it means it will download the update onto your device. It will not install it until you, a little um, a little box comes up down the bottom here and asks you, do you, it's been downloaded, do, would you like to install now? And I said yes, and of course you saw uh, that page. So if we were to look at the release notes, this is what we saw when we, when we started the video. That's what came through because I'm in the beta testing. So that's it, you can be a beta tester too. And you can have that upgrade there. Thanks so much. Any love on the channel would be greatly appreciated.